going on guys welcome back to vlogmas day seven i have my baby girl delilah here and i'm actually about to cut her hair that's why she's all wet and she looks like a little mouse so a lot of you who've been with us for a while have been asking whether or not we have her still and of course we'll never get rid of delilah she's my first baby i've had her for almost nine years now which is actually coming up in a couple of days her birthday ever since maybe last year or so i've been cutting her hair on my own i just don't trust anybody that i've taken her to in the past and the last time that we went to petco she came out looking crazy they cut her hair way too much she was so nervous i just didn't have a good feeling when she came back to me and if you have pets you know that they're just like babies they're just like your children you know when something's wrong since i know how to cut her hair i know how to cut her nails i just do it on my own i feel more comfortable that way and obviously since i'm her mom she feels more comfortable with me too also some of the horror stories that i've read from groomers with the pets and how they return them back to their owners has just left me super uneasy so I'm about to get started on her hair because she's getting sleepy on me since she took a nice warm bath and um, yeah, you guys will see her when she's done. good hour and a half to do cutting all her hair cutting her nails it usually does take me around that time to do it and you would think with all the hair that you see on the floor that I don't cut her hair for like months and months at a time but I just think that her hair grows really fast especially with the vitamins that she's taking because every few weeks I give her a haircut if you guys are wondering what kind of dog she is she's actually a Havanese what I will say about these dogs is they require a lot of maintenance you have to brush them if you can every single day just so they won't get naughty because her hair does get naughty very fast and if you look up pictures of Havanese dogs a lot of people People like to let their hair grow really long and then they end up looking like naughty they like that look I actually don't like it at all I like to keep it short keep it clean and it's actually better for her I don't like seeing her walking around with hair all in her face looking like she can't see and still in yet cutting her hair all the time cutting the hair around her eyes not too long ago she had an eye infection and thank God we caught it right away we took her to the doctor and they gave her some medication for it and it went away I can't even imagine her having hair all in her eyes all day and not being able to see if there's something wrong or not what I love about Delilah is that she's hypoallergenic and that's the reason why I was able to keep her when I was pregnant I was so scared that the doctor was gonna tell me that I can't have her cuz you know they're really strict on things like that when you're pregnant I wasn't gonna get rid of her I just didn't know who could take care of her until I gave birth but once he cleared it for me I was like thank you God cuz she's my baby like I don't see myself being without her and I just hope and pray that she lives forever and ever even though I know realistically thinking that that's not gonna happen but back to the hair she is hypoallergenic and she doesn't shed anywhere so the only time that I'll see hair is like when I brush it or just cut it like I did now but I'm glad because I don't want to be seeing hair everywhere also with these dogs their nails grow super fast I mean all dogs nails grow really fast and then you hear them and it sounds like they're tap dancing on the floor that's why it's good to walk them too when they're outside the concrete kind of files the nails down while they go but I would say at least every two weeks you should make sure that you cut their nails because once they grow long you have to be careful for that quick you can't go thinking that because they're long you could just cut them short because there's a quick there and with her she has black nails so it's hard to see the quick basically the quick is a nerve so once you touch that they'll start bleeding like crazy even if it's just a small little cut it'll bleed everywhere and it looks like you hurt her really bad so it's a little tricky you just have to be careful when you're doing things like that I just had a lot of people ask me about what kind of dog she is if she's a good dog to get I think she's an amazing dog I think Havanese's are the perfect family dogs she loves kids although she's scared of other kids besides Grayson and that's just because she's had bad experiences in the past you know how little kids are they see a dog they try to pull their hair and things like that but she's not vicious at all like she'll literally sit there and let the kids do whatever they want to her but she's the sweetest dog ever she loves Grayson so much she adores him every morning she looks for him he looks for her and it's true when kids grow up with a dog they, 
does become their best friend. What else can I tell you about Lila? So recently we were watching some videos on YouTube about all different types of dogs and she popped up, the Havanese dogs. Then we learned that they started breeding the Havanese dogs in Cuba. So that's where they originate from, which makes sense because ever since she was a baby, she understood Spanish. Like my mother-in-law does not speak English to her at all and she does everything that she tells her to do. And we also learned in that video that people used to use them before as circus dogs, which explains why she knows a lot of little cute tricks. Babe, come here, you remember the first time you met Lila? I remember the first time I met this little bup. I remember the first time I met I went to Kim's house. I'm going up the stairs and I just hear this dog barking and barking. I'm like, what the hell is that? And she's like, that's my dog. I'm like, you got a dog? Is it a big dog? Because I had a bad experience with a pit one time. It was like, it was a bad, I'll tell you guys about it another time. So I was like, what kind of dog is it? Is it big? Is it little? I was just mad scared <laughs> on the low. I wasn't showing. I was just like, what kind of dog is it? You know, like, is it big? Is it a pit? When she opens the door, I just see this little piece of fluff just looking at me and barking I'm like that's barking that loud and when I went to pet her she just hopped I said whoa yeah. <laughs> what the hell which is the reason why we call her bunny her name is Delilah she calls her Lila I call her bunny and yeah she's just hopping around the house and I'm like why is your dog so hype she's like she doesn't know you that's why yeah so I'm like no dogs love me I went to grab her again boom she jumps again I'm like yo what the hell <laughs> she just hops to the side like she'll jump like that yeah. every time he'll try to be nice and touch her it was so funny so this happened for like I don't know a few weeks yeah maybe like a month uh, you know I kept going over there and I kept trying to grab it she wouldn't let me she would just hop and I'm like damn what's going on with this dog she was a little puppy at the time then fast forward when Kim moved in and she brought the Lila she was just so timid she would stand in the corner and she would yeah. just look at me like that she she would walk past me I'm like you're not hopping now right no nah, I'm just playing then eventually she got used to me I would pick her up and she'll just let me pet her and stuff like that you have to win her affection you can't just grab my dog she'll yeah. run from you she'll go underneath the bed she's not messing with you yeah. if she doesn't know you the thing about Lila is she's a rescue dog it's actually a really sad story and that's the reason why she doesn't trust just anybody she's a bit traumatized from the things she went through yeah I can imagine the stuff she went through she was in kennels or something like that right yeah they had her like with dogs like all over her like you know how it goes people do the craziest things to animals and oh i don't even like to think of stories like that but she's always been shown so much love and affection ever since we got her but of course she had to warm up to him and you know what i love about her so much because i didn't train her she was already trained like she goes and she pees mm -hmm. or she'll go to the door she'll scratch the door meaning she wants to be walked like she'll let you know she gives you indications like oh, i want this or if, if she's thirsty she'll go like this to her bowl she's really smart that's what i love about her so much and every single night when i was pregnant she used to sleep on my belly yeah and that was so <laughs> adorable just seeing her sleep on there she knew for a fact that i was pregnant she knew there was life in there but yeah that's our little story on lila her birthday's actually in a couple of days so we have to go get her some Something, a cookie a cake whatever they have they actually closed down the bakery that we went to a couple years ago to get her her cake um, so we do have to find another one but for sure we're gonna celebrate we celebrate every single year she's a real lady so she's not gonna tell you guys her age <laughs> But anyways, I'm about to clean up, change out of these clothes because I have to get started on dinner. Grayson's about to wake up from his nap and he has to eat. I've been wanting to eat shrimps for a couple days now and I didn't know exactly how I wanted to make them. But today, I was running some errands and I decided to get some before I came back home. And I finally made my mind up. I actually want to eat some shrimp cocktail. Mexican style actually, cocktail de camarón. And since I've never shown you guys how to make it, I figured tonight's the perfect night. So usually when I make seafood, I have to make two different meals. I'll have to cook a separate dinner for Grayson and then I'll make our meal on the side because he's not the biggest fan of seafood. Especially since the shrimp cocktail is spicy, he's definitely not gonna eat that. I already have that going. I have some rice and beans. That's like his favorite thing to eat. I have some seasoned chicken. I'm probably gonna fry these up. So good, arroz con habichuelas y pollo frito. That's everything right there. Then I'm gonna make some meat for Lila too on the side. But for now, I'm gonna get started on peeling these shrimps. I'm about to get started on the sauce that the shrimps are gonna be in because I wanna put it in the fridge, leave it in there for a minute, and then I wanna get started on the shrimps and throw those in there. This is probably gonna be the easiest thing that I've ever cooked here on the channel. If you're ever looking for something quick and you like seafood, this is the meal for you. Also, since the holidays are coming up, this could be a nice little appetizer if you're gonna make a dinner for some friends or some family. This will be a perfect little starter for your meal. I keep it super simple, and I'm starting with some red onion. 
this is one of the very few meals that I actually like raw onion in and that's because I cut it into really really small pieces you want to chop up some fresh cilantro and then you're gonna want to take some limes you're probably gonna be using within five to six limes depending how juicy they are but I'm just gonna cut five for now because these seem pretty big and remember the trick to this is cutting everything really small the cilantro the onions you don't want to have big chunks of everything in there so if I need to use that extra lime then I'll just use it but for now I think this should be good all right so I'm taking one cup of clamato this is tomato cocktail tomato juice basically one cup of that you want to take one cup of ketchup I know it sounds weird if you've never had this but trust me this is so delicious you're not gonna regret it put that in there and then you're gonna wanna start squeezing your limes in there. Now, you wanna add some hot sauce. I've successfully made this using tapatillo, I've used cholula, and I've even used cholula, the chili lime one. It's good with either one of them. But today I'm gonna use tapatillo. If you want, you don't have to add hot sauce at all if it's not your thing, but I like it. I just don't like so much of it, so I'm only gonna add about two tablespoons. That's gonna be perfect. I like the kick, but I wanna enjoy my food too. One. Then you want to add as much salt and pepper as you like and then you're going to throw in the cilantro and the red onion in there as well okay so the next thing you're going to want to do is take your shrimps you want to boil them for three to four minutes no more than that because then you're going to overcook them i have fresh shrimps and that's what i recommend is getting fresh shrimps if you can't find them fresh then it's okay to get them pre-cooked but fresh is always best oh i have two pounds of shrimp by the way that's exactly what you're going to need for this because you don't want to be stingy with the shrimp either. You never want to have more juice than shrimp. Then when you give it to people, they're only going to have about three shrimps in there. You want to be, you want to give them enough. Also, as soon as you take the shrimp out, you want to run it under cold water so they won't continue to cook. You see that? It looks so good already. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is take half a cup of the same water that you cooked the shrimp in just to dilute it a little bit. And last but not least, you want to add about a tablespoon of olive oil. I use the Goya one, that's my favorite. And that's it, you wanna mix it up like this, put it in the fridge, maybe for about an hour, that's probably the best. I could eat it right away, but you wanna let it cool completely. And then you could either serve this with some tortilla chips on the side, you could either make them or buy them, but we like to eat it with crackers. I'll show you guys how it looks once I serve it up. The last thing that I like to add is aguacate. We keep it pretty simple, but everyone customizes it their own way. Some people add cucumbers, some people even add carrots in there. I'm just gonna add aguacate and then add the mixture in there and that's about it. So I'll layer it up as I go. Some avocado, some of the shrimp cocktail, some avocado, shrimp cocktail. And that's how simple the recipe is guys. It literally takes 10 minutes. Remember the key is cut everything up very, very small into small little pieces and also be generous. I can't stress that enough. You don't wanna look cheap when you're putting just a couple pieces of shrimp in there and a little bit of aguacate. You wanna fill it up. You want it to make it look really good and scrumptious. As you guys can see, I have the jumbo cocktail glasses. We actually had these since we had the restaurant and it makes about four of these. So this is a big portion of food. And like I said, we like to have ours with crackers, but you can eat it with tortilla chips. You can do whatever you want, but that's it. Look how beautiful that looks. All right, Mezamab, hopefully y'all enjoyed this vlog today. It was super chill, but we'll see you guys definitely tomorrow. And also, give that shrimp cocktail a try. It's worth it, trust me. I always love it.